Hello. Hello and welcome. The new Scorny electric truck. You want to ride? Yeah, I want to ride. Let's go. I can't hear the engine, the voice of engine. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's very quiet here. It's very easy to get used to being so quiet. In the beginning it feels strange, but then when you can talk and you can... It's very nice. Well, it's nice, right? Something. So, midagi, midagi, väga erakordselt. Manus. Rahulik. Vaikne. Uus Skania. Elektrivilk. Kas te tunnete seda? Yeah, this one I have been driving about a... Um... 13,000 kilometers, so I, I've tried it quite a bit now, and it, I'm really happy with it. It's really nice to drive. I've driven many different trucks, and I think this is the one that has made me smile the most. It's so easy to drive, and so it becomes a bit calmful because it's quiet. You don't feel the gear changes, it just runs really smooth. It has six gears, and mm -hmm. it has three different electric motors, mm -hmm. and they can, they can, they can work in different gears. So, so you you can be ready for for new gear when you have one gear, and that means you can make like a, a like a fluent gear change, and that's really nice for a truck driver both because it feels nice, but also that you always have power on the wheels, mm -hmm. if you are in like a tricky conditions, if it's slippery or that is really nice. I think we are right now going to uh, Via Baltica. Right now, Via Baltica. It's uh, Perno, the same road to Spain. So okay. I can imagine I'm driving right now to Spain <laughs> with this truck. Yeah. Is it possible? Could be. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. I haven't been to Spain yet, but uh, yeah. I feel very good. It's uh, very relaxing to drive here. So, I think you need to try an electric truck before you can really get the feeling of how it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you will, of course, always, uh, many people believe that it takes a long time to charge. It has very limited range. Um, but in the Scania, you can, you, can, you can easily make you a four and a half hour that you're allowed to drive, and then you have to take a break anyway. So I think that's one of the most important parts that truck manufacturers are trying to solve, that, that you, can, you can do your four and a half hour and then you can take your break. You can find a charging place charging uh, when place. you have to stop anyway for your legal break, mm -hmm. and then you can, can charge while you're having a break. The Scania is so fast at charging that uh, in one hour you can almost get 300 new kilometers, or 300 kilometers added range. We say 350 or I think up to 400 kilometers uh, on a full charge with, with, with full load. Often you don't have to go from zero to 100% while charging. Um, but of course, uh, one of the big challenges is the amount of um, charging stations for trucks. The cable is the same as the charger for the passenger cars. Uh, you can charge on the, on the stations that are, are made for, for cars also. And my experience is that uh, quite many places you can fit in a truck. Uh, of course, you don't want to block everybody, but often there's, there's space. Uh, it works, but of course we need 
much more charging stations. How much load do you have right now? We loaded to a total of uh, 32 tons. It's the um, average load of of, uh, of trucks in Europe. Oh, okay. How about uh, this uh, the weather thing? Well, like in Estonia, it's a perfect road. There is no mountains. <laughs> there is uh, always good weather. So, but if uh, the weather changes, weather conditions and road conditions, that's good. That's a good point. Uh, I think many people wonder about what happens when it gets cold and also you, you hear you hear a lot of stories about electric uh, passenger cars and probably transfer it also here that that it is tougher when it's cold um, it is actually tougher for for all vehicles no matter what drive line you have mm -hmm. uh, because when it gets colder so, so it is true that it takes more energy when it's cold absolutely but my experience with increased consumption is not so high as I would expect it is then of course if it gets really really cold like arctic areas then then, then you get a, a much higher consumption i haven't had so much mountains but i have colleagues who have been driving a lot of mountains area mm -hmm. also and of course in, energy consumption goes up when you have to climb a hill that's the same with a with a conventional truck it takes more diesel to go up uh, but it's the same physics so it's nothing special for an electric truck the good part becomes when you go down again then you will, uh, when you're braking with the electric engine, you will regain most of your energy back to the batteries again. This is a nice place. Yeah. Igal juhul esimene mulje sõita siis selle Scania masinaga. Mina tulen ennast hästi. Väga mõnus. Tõesti. Mugav. Soe. Kahjuks ma ise rooli minna ei saa, olen küll arjunud, meilgi koolituskeskuses autoservis on ju kaks, kaks sellist mudelit, aga esimene mulje on tõesti, tõesti siuke nagu ikkagi uue auto lõhn on sees ja nagu ikka uus auto. Ja kes on sõitnud elektrimasinatega ja elektrisõiduautodega, mina olen sõitnud elektri Teslaga, siis peale seda sõitmist, Teslaga sõitmist, ma ei taha ühega ma teise masinaga enam sõita. If I could put a final word, I would say you should try it. Because that's when you get the feeling of how it is to drive. And you also get a feeling of the range you have. So I think that's, that's the most important part. You should try it. I want to try it. Ma tahan seda proovida. Aga praegu on selline olukord, kus ma seda proovida ei saa. Saan ainult proovida kõrval olla. Aga juba see kõrval olemine, here, andis mulle väga hea tunde kätte. That's really nice. Very quick. Very quick. Easy. Connect, easy connect. Easy to park. Yeah. So that is really nice.
should try it. I've driven many different trucks and I think this is the one that has made me smile the most. <laughs>